is it possible to run faster without having to go all out on all your training runs or without having to do high intensity interval training? Sure it is. All you need to do is increase your strike length and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Salut, c'est Stéphane from Safe Motions. A longer stride means you're going to run more efficiently and that's exactly what we all want to do. We talked about stride length and cadence in other videos, so I'll put the links down in the description in case you need a refresher. So today and over the course of the next few videos, I'm going to show you step by step how you can increase your stride length without risking overstriding because this can lead to all sorts of bad stuff further down the road like foot pain, knee pain, hip pain, back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain looking for mobility to increase your stride length the first thing we're going to do is leg swings it's a classic you're going to swing your leg back and forth making sure that you're engaging your glutes as you push the leg back and that you're not arching your lower back or bending it as you're pushing your leg forward now this starts to get more interesting when you add more stuff to it add a back lunge as you swing your leg back right so you're swinging back lunge stabilize make sure your heel is off the floor and then start stretching the hip i'm going to try and not break the window behind me keep your core tight stretch now why do we need mobility to increase the stride length well for me it just makes sense it's physics if you want to lengthen anything by definition you have to stretch it right so if you want to lengthen your stride you have to stretch your stride and that's what we're doing right now. Here's what's going to make that leg swing a lot more exciting. Lunge forward, but in your lunge forward, what we're working on right now is the knee drive. See, one of the mistakes that we make as runners, we tend to have our legs really relaxed and we're not lifting our heel up. We're just passing the leg through and then stepping really close to the back foot. So we're not taking a long stride here. What's missing there is lifting the heel and then driving the knee forward. That's what's going to help us to reach forward. So in your leg swing, you're going to swing your leg forward, lunge forward, but I want you to bend your knee, have your knee drive forward into the lunge. What you don't want to do is reach with your foot and your heel into the lunge because that's over striding. Reach forward with your knee and lunge. Great, so we've got a lunge back, a lunge forward. Let's add some more fun to that cushion. In your lunge back, add a stretch of the quadriceps. So we're working right now on lifting that heel up, what we just talked about. Right, so you're swinging the leg, lunging backwards, going deep into your lunge. You're going to put your knee down on the floor, reach for your ankle, and lunge forward. Push your hips forward. You should feel a deep stretch in the quads. Don't arch your lower back. Then stand up and continue with the leg swings. Leg swing back, lunge, knee on the floor, reach for the quads, stretch and continue. Lunge forward, stretch, back to the swing. Lunge backwards, stretch, engage your core, knee down, fetch your ankle, stretch, breathe, and back to the swing. So this is a bunch of exercises put together in one. For me, mobility is the first step into increasing your stride length. Having said that, I can't wait to show you the power drills that I have ready for you in the next video. They're really fun to do, and I think you'll get great results out of it if you do the mobility exercises first. So give this video a like if you've gotten some value so far, and consider subscribing so you don't miss the next video about opening up your stride.